Hey guys, Divine122 here, bringing you Nuclear Winter, the next addition to the Fallout 2287 suite of survival systems. Nuclear Winter reimagines the Commonwealth as a frozen wasteland, bringing all new gameplay features. The main focus of Nuclear Winter is maintaining your core body temperature. Many factors play into the rise or fall of your core body temperature and determine your ability to withstand the bitter cold. The ambient temperature and wind speed of the weather are some of the largest factors in the rate at which your body temperature changes over time. These that vary dynamically by the type of weather that is currently affecting the region and are greatly influenced by being indoors or exposed to the elements. Likewise, time of day plays a role in the ambient temperature, dropping at night and rising during the day. Compounding on the weather is the effect of wetness. Being exposed to cold water greatly increases how quickly your body temperature drops and it increases the rate at which you gain debilitating ailments. You naturally dry slowly over time, but standing near a heat source or in a brisk wind will help you dry more quickly. Heat sources are spread throughout the Commonwealth and are your solace in the dark days of winter. Heat sources are typically any source of fire and even include weapons like the Molotov and the Flamer. Additionally, I made some custom support for Fading Signals campsite mod so you can make heat sources in a pinch. Should you be stuck away from a heat source for a long period of time, ailments and diseases are sure to follow. Ailments are gained when your body temperature drops below hypothermic thresholds. Depending on the severity of your hypothermia, you will receive more dangerous conditions. More severe conditions typically require a recovery period above the hypothermia threshold and continue to persist if you become hypothermic again before recovering fully. Clothing in nuclear winter is your main line of defense against the harsh environment. Your clothing has a value to represent the thickness and insulation of the material. The insulation value greatly reduces the rate at which your body temperature drops and provides longevity when exploring. Heat sources and clothing aren't your only ways to stay warm in the dead of winter. Occupied locations are much warmer on average. Blankets provide heating benefits while sleeping and cooked food alcohol, and hand warmers from the chem station provide temporary comfort from the cold. While I have additional plans for settlements in the future, currently, heat sources can also be crafted at settlements to add safe locations to visit. To add to the sense of immersion, I also added several aesthetic features such as snow on characters while it is snowing, visible breaths while it's cold, and dripping from emerging from water. To allow for more customization, I also added support for the mod configuration menu. From the menu, you can change several features, modify the difficulty, and search for more information on the mechanics if needed. That's it for this video. I have a lot of future plans for Nuclear Winter, and look forward to getting feedback and ideas from you guys. Thank you.